Hi guys, it's Matt from Maxon UK. Welcome to another R19 feature video. So this one we're going to be looking at the new poly reduction feature. Now whilst the polygon reduction tool has existed in Cinema 4D before, it has moved and it has upgraded immensely. So it's now found here under the um, modeling scene helper objects and the polygon reduction is there. So if you've got a scene that's got a large amount of polygons, um, which I shall just now show you, okay, so using my shortcuts, you can see that there is a lot of polygons there in these two meshes. Now it might be something that you have sculpted, or it might be something that you have imported from another project, or perhaps 3D scanned, but something that comes in with an awful lot of geometry that means that your machine is struggling to render, or struggling to use it in editor, or um, you just want a, a cleaner mesh to use. So you create yourself this new polygon reduction tool, okay, and it's a simple case of taking your object that you want to reduce and drag and dropping it as a child into the polygon reduction. You can see it does take a little bit of time. You can see that it's processing there down in the bottom left hand corner. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to speed this up a bit for us so that we can uh, get to the nitty gritty of this. And there we go. Now, if I just move in a little closer, you can see that we've got a little bit better reduction there. If I click on the polygon reduction, you can see that we've got a vast difference between the two there. And what's really great about this is that once you have updated it uh, and gone through that process, you can easily and quickly increase and decrease the strength of your polygon reduction all the way up to, you know, something ridiculous and, you know, moving back and getting further away or more towards the original mesh as intended. You can even, if you want, go for the triangle count and you can limit the number of triangles that you want to work to, say, say 20,000. And what it will do is it will do its best to get somewhere near that. It can't always guarantee that it will be completely accurate. You know, and you can just change that to 30,000 and you know give it a second and it updates really quite fast this is an absolutely phenomenal and really powerful and immensely quick little helper object here that's been introduced into R19 and or reworked for R19 anyway you can also add multiple objects into your scene as well into your polygon reduction so whilst I've got this uh, second tree here um, and it's got it sculpt on. If I just right click and then current state to object, uh, I'll get rid of this one. Okay. And you can see that I've got another tree with an awful lot of polygons. All I need to do is drag and drop it into that polygon reduction tool. Okay. And it will do the same thing as the other one. It will sit there and rework its polygons. So I should just speed that up for us as well. Okay. There we go. You can see that it simply reduces that mesh as well. You can also, you know, tick this box and it will reduce all generated children as one object and put them together. And you've got a few other things that you can um, work your way through. You, um, once you get multiple objects in there, it will remove your ability of using the triangle counts. Uh, you can preserve the 3D boundaries, okay? And you can also work with the UV boundaries as well. Sometimes if you've got a uh, UV object that's quite large and you've reduced the polygon count, you may need to preserve the UV boundaries so that there are more polygons around your UV boundaries, ensuring that your original mesh textures the way that it should do. Okay, I hope this was a useful little feature update video for you and I will catch you in the next one.